here in our Abbey Church for our Midnight Mass, our first communion of Christmas. It's lovely to see so many people here at the very start of our celebrations for Christmas. You should have everything you need in front of you, uh, an order of service kind of communion booklet which hopefully runs through um, quite straightforwardly, and a carol sheet will announce the carols as we go along. You don't have to guess which number we're on. Um, so we will stand to begin our service with our first carol to celebrate the birth of Christ, O Little Town of Bethlehem, number one. <laughs> himself for us to purify a people as his own. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the presence of Christ in word and sacrament, let us call to mind 
and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in the of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy of the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and his name, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. For the word of the Lord. 
full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Anxious 
about what happens next. Mary and Joseph were far from home, perhaps not even properly prepared, not having everything they needed with them. Fearful and anxious about what happens next. The babies in The Baby Has Landed all arrive, and in their quiet and not so quiet way, disrupt everything. Nothing can continue in the households to which they are welcomed in the same way. Even in the most organised family, sleep deprivation and the demands of a newborn infant are incredible. The shifting sands of existing relationships finding their new boundaries and an unexpected poorly baby all add to the challenges and demands made on ordinary pa uh, parents. The parents are still okay, still happy and excited, but utterly exhausted and so desperate <coughs> to get this parenting task right and to hold everything together for others. Perhaps there's a faint sense of, oh my goodness, what have we done? This is a world Mary and Joseph would have known. And remember, they are still far from home, in a place that is not theirs. What must Mary and Joseph have been thinking? Exhausted from their journey, exhausted from the birth, exhausted from thinking about what was going to happen next, desperate to get it all right. For this is no ordinary baby. This is God's son, after all. Would they have slept at all for worrying about how everyone else was going to relate to this precious bundle? So much expectation and no clear handbook as to what happens next. Oh my goodness, you can hear them saying, what have we done? The little ones in The Baby Has Landed certainly make their mark. Life is never going to be the same for anyone in their family. Everything has changed. And what happens next? It's a blank page waiting to be filled, hopefully full of promise, and all sorts of possibilities. With the birth of Jesus, the baby has certainly landed. Not just for Mary and Joseph and their immediate family, but for the whole of humanity, for the whole world. The birth of Jesus is the moment when God crashes into the world and reminds his creation, I am here with you. I have always been here for you. But just so you know that I really mean this, I will come as one of you, so you will be able to build a relationship with me. And I will do all of that, says God, because I can and will be in the world forever. There will be no darkness in this age or any age that will come that I will not be able to overcome and disperse. The world will constantly reinvent itself with so many cruelties and dark thoughts and actions it will constantly seek to squash the smallest and weakest and poorest and most vulnerable. 
but I will be there, shining my everlasting light. I will be there in the easily missed loving action. I will be there in the voice that speaks up for those with no voice. I will be there when people come together for good. I will be there when evil does not triumph. I will be there when amazing and incredible and ordinary and simple loving truth is seen and heard and felt. I will be there. Make no mistake, this baby, this holy child of Bethlehem, this Jesus has landed. For those who went before us, for all of us tonight, and for all those who will come after us. Everything has changed. And what happens next? That's up to us. It's a blank page waiting to be filled, hopefully full of promise and all sorts of possibilities. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again. In this holy night, your Christ came 
It's a thought shining in the darkness. <coughs> and it bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadness of our world. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. <coughs> in this holy night, the angels sang peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in all the world. In this holy night, shepherds in the field heard good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel of Christ's redemption. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. <clears throat> in this holy night, strangers found the holy family and saw the babe lying in the manger. Bless our homes and all whom we love. In this holy night, heaven is come down to earth, and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand all who have passed through death in the hope of your heavenly kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In this holy night, Christians the world over celebrate Christ's birth. Open our hearts that he may be born in us today. In this holy night, angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer in fellowship with Mary, Joseph, and the saints through him who is your word and flesh. Merciful Father, I accept your thanks for us for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen.
the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And now we give you thanks because by the power of the Holy Spirit he took our nature upon him and was born of the Virgin Mary his mother that being himself without sin, he might make us clean from all sin. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing. <laughs> In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it 
in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith.
God our Father, in this night you have made known to us again the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Confirm our faith and fix our eyes on him until the day dawns and Christ the morning star rises in our hearts. To him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and dwell with your praise and glory. Amen. So we stand now to sing our final carol.
and make you partakers of the divine nature. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Before John starts the voluntary, can we take <laughs> no, quick there? Can we all wish you a very, very, very Christmas? <laughs>